know, Dr. Paul, I was, I've been following this controversy. I don't know if you've read about this, but within the Libertarian Party, there's a Mises caucus, and they, they hew closer to the Mises line uh, on, on a lot of these things. Well, they wanted to have you speak at the upcoming LP convention, the Mises caucus. They wanted to have you uh, as a speaker. But from what I've read, someone really put the kibosh on that, and they said, no way. Actually, the Mises caucus even raised the money, I think, to get you out there to talk. Someone said, no, they said, no way, that the, um, the convention coordinator said, no way, no Ron Paul. Does that make you feel sad? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, um, I, I wondered about that, and I heard a little bit about it, but uh, I, I wondered, I thought, I thought the Libertarian Party would be for Mises. <laughs> I didn't know they had to have another, another caucus, but I find that really fascinating. Matter of fact, I, I did get some vibes from this. Somebody might have called a staff, not me directly. I didn't talk to anybody. And I indicated, well, we'll look into it because I've spoken to the uh, Libertarian Party meetings before, uh, even though I've sort of skirted things Republican and Libertarian, but I'm still a member of the Libertarian. I'm a lifetime oh, member. Lifetime member. Uh, of, of it. I don't think, this is an equivalent to kicking me out, is it? I mean, just they're just preventing me from speaking. So that's not, that's not disbarring me from the Libertarian Party. Because besides, if they did that, I wonder, I wonder if it would be okay if I could ask for my gold coin back because I paid, you know, my lifetime membership in 1987 with a gold coin. Did you? So <laughs> to make a point, you know. So this will be this will be interesting. That's worth so, a little more nowadays, anyway. <laughs> that's, that's right. But no, I'm not, I'm open to talking with them. So I don't know exactly uh, what's going on. It used to be that they they would ask me, uh, you know, to to come frequently, and a lot of times I couldn't do it. But uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens, see if they really want me or not. Or what, Well, I think one of the things that, the, 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 you know, the, the leadership of the party rather than rank and file, they weren't happy that you were critical of the ticket last time. You didn't love Bill Weld. Yeah. Uh, so I think that, that might be, they said uh, he has no idea what the LP represents is what the, what the coordinator said. So. Well, you, you know, uh, I wasn't happy with, with what the Republicans were doing or the Democrats. Yeah. So, uh, and um, I know something about not being allowed to speak in the Republican Party. You know, I've been That's a true. candidate, an official candidate, qualified and all. Did finally get in the debates, but there were some times when I didn't get in the debates, and sometimes what we had to do is uh, have our own little organization in order to counteract what was going on. So this this is probably not new. It's not unique to the Libertarian Party but there's always factions going on and it doesn't get me too upset because I think in terms of uh, ideologies and, and philosophy and I think in a bigger picture of the freedom philosophy the libertarian approach should infiltrate Republican Democrats and libertarians you know so that we can we can have everybody and that's what happens when an idea whose time has come uh, it will infiltrate right now I think those ideas are coming together and the libertarian message should be leading the charge. But when you look at the leadership, it just seems like so often they, they melt away when you look at the Republicans and the yeah. Democrats and the Republicans, you know, say that they like libertarians and there's a few Republican libertarians in office, but uh, the leadership is so bad uh, in, in, in all the political parties. Yeah. They seem to, to go along and, and that, that's annoying. So this Mises caucus seems to like you. Maybe they'll have an alternative party uh, at the election and we'll all uh, sit down and uh, talk about it. Well, that. that would be interesting. It could, could be fun, you yeah. know. Uh, we, we could see that because, uh, of course, I've been promoting uh, uh, Austrian economics and Mises for a long time. He's been a big influence. And if, if anybody shouldn't, should, should be uh, praising um, a particular economist, uh, it should be the Libertarian Party because they've been more open about uh, Austrian economics. So uh, I, I think I think that would be very interesting. So uh, who, who knows what will happen? <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. We'll but see. It may, maybe it could be fun. Yeah, we'll see. All right. <laughs> <laughs>